In 1978, Stephen Knott was both junior and senior Australian title holder and was favoured to win a place in the Commonwealth Games team at the long jump selection trials in June. Well, each jump is allowed six jumps and uh, I was getting, I'd done my warm-up preparation, jogging, stretching and everything and was getting ready for the commencement of competition and my name was called and I put my foot on the long jump run-up ready to go to the board and uh, I was, just as I was about to take off, I got the sensation of the swallowing the fly and the heart started racing. I could feel my heart pounding in the chest and uh, I started running down the runway and knowing full well that uh, I'm going to have to lie down fairly shortly and I just ran through and five of my six jumps were like that. I only got one actual jump in in the competition. That was the last jump where uh, I'd had that time to lay down and recover and the actual palpitations had gone away. Tachycardia cost him a place in the Commonwealth Games. Although drugs are usually successful in controlling the condition, Stephen had to be referred to specialists in Sydney for more radical treatment. This first involved finding the location of the abnormal electrical gates in his heart. I had a, what they called a catheter test where they inserted three wires through my groin and uh, one through my arm, a bit like handbrake cables they were, and they just were able to get them up to touch the heart and trigger off these attacks and you're conscious why this was done. We're measuring the uh, time of emergence of the electrical activity at discrete points on the surface of the heart and we build up a sort of weather map if you like or a contour map of the earliest times of excitation of the heart and uh, when we can uh, locate the earliest uh, points of activation uh, then that indicates where the electrical impulses are breaking through, where there's a second or, as in Stephen Knott's case, a third communication between the two electrical components of the heart, the atrium and the ventricle. The biggest problem for us is that it's something we can't see. It's uh, a microscopic structure, just one heart cell often, that is allowing this electrical activity to leak from the atrium to the ventricle and we can't see that at operation and all we can do is to locate it uh, electrically by our mapping and then set about destroying it and we can do that in a number of ways uh, the most popular methods are to uh, incise the area, to cut the area, to destroy that cell uh, or to freeze it. It's possible to lower the temperature of the heart in that point to a very low uh, minus 70 degrees centigrade and that will destroy the electrical activity in that uh, aberrant cell. Stephen had open heart surgery in 1978 and the two abnormal electrical pathways in his heart were cut. The operation was a complete success and four years later he represented Australia at the Brisbane Commonwealth Games. I say that it was only a temporary setback for about 12 months and uh, just took that amount of time to get your strength back for being laid low in hospital for a few days and uh, just the recovery period, I'd say definitely shouldn't end anybody's athletic aspirations, certainly at my age anyway. I want to compete in the Olympic Games and that's what it's all about. And when I do compete in the Olympic Games, I'll retire.